everyone, it's Missy, and welcome to the last part of the Dolly Cowgirl Partner Red Heart Yarn Crochet Pattern Series. If you wanted to see any of the previous videos of this pattern, I'll have them in the description box below. And there's also a link in the description box for the written instructions from Red Heart Yarn. So today we are going to be making the kerchief, or handkerchief, and we will be doing this with the blue color that you see before you. You'll also need a pair of scissors, tapestry needle to weave in your ends, and I'm using a size I crochet hook, but whatever crochet hook you need to use to obtain the correct gauge, I go for it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a slip knot. And the kerchief is worked in rows. And so what we're going to do is we're going to chain two. And how you do a chain stitch is you just yarn over and pull through the loop. So I got my two chains done. And now we're going to start row one. To do row one, we're just going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the first chain that we made. To single crochet, I just insert my hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through a loop. So there's two loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through those two loops. And that's our single crochet, and that's all we do for row one. So we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to do row two. We're just going to chain one. And now we're going to three single crochet in that single crochet we made in row one. So I'm just going to complete my first stitch. Go right back into that same stitch, complete a second one. And go right back in and complete a third one. So there's my three single crochet stitches for row two. Now I could turn my work. We're going to go on to row three. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work two single crochets in the first stitch. I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch just one time. And then to finish off row three, I'm going to complete two single crochets in the last stitch. So that will give me a total of five single crochets for row three. I'm ready to turn my work and begin row four. Just going to chain one and complete two single crochets in the first stitch. Single crochet in the next three stitches, just one time. And complete two single crochets in the last stitch. So for row four, I have a total of several, seven single crochet stitches. So I'm ready to turn my work, and I'm going to begin row five. Just going to chain one, complete two single crochets in the first stitch, single crochet once in the next of five stitches, and in the last stitch, I'm just going to single crochet twice. So that gives me a total of nine single crochets for row five. I'm going to turn my work and begin row six. I'm going to chain one, two single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet once in the next seven stitches. single crochet twice in the last stitch. So I have a total of 11 single crochet stitches for row 6. I'm going to turn my work, move on to row 7, I'm going to chain 1, complete 2 single crochets in the first stitch. 
I'm going to single crochet once in the next nine stitches. A single crochet twice in the last stitch. So for row 7 I have a total of 13 single crochet stitches. Row 8 I'm going to turn my work and now I'm going to chain 21. So once I've chained 21 stitches, I am going to turn my work, or work the other direction, and I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain from hook. So slip stitch, we just yarn over and pull through all the loops. And now I'm going to slip stitch in the next 19 chain stitches. And this is going to create our tie for our kerchief. So I finished my slip stitches so you can see how that made a thicker tie. And now I'm back to my unworked single crochet stitches. And what I'm going to do is single crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet two together. So I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, so there's two loops on my hook, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, so there's three loops on my hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And that's a single crochet two together. I'm going to repeat this pattern three more times, where I single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two together. So single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two together. One last time. And then I'm going to single crochet in the last remaining stitch. And that completes our row 8 which would give us a total of 29 stitches. For row 9, I'm just going to chain 21. And much like we did on row 8, we are going to turn our work and now we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from hook. And then we will continue to slip stitch in the remaining 19 chain stitches. So when we finish row 9, we'll have a total of 20 stitches. And that will finish off the tie for this side of our project. When I get to the end of, or have done my 20th slip stitch, I'm just going to fasten off my yarn, weave in my ends, and that will be the end of our project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial series. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!